brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the thermostat and housing. This is a 2008 Dodge Ram with a 5.7 liter. You'll need a drain bucket, flat blade screwdriver, 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and extension, as well as extra engine coolant. This can easily be done from the ground, but we raised and supported our vehicle and put a drain bucket under our radiator. Open the drain on the bottom of the radiator. Drain the radiator down enough so that you won't get any fluid coming out when you take off the radiator hose. And then also close your drain when you're done draining it. Your upper radiator hose runs from the top driver's side of the radiator to the top driver's side of the engine. Disconnect the clamp on the engine side with a flathead screwdriver. It appears that on this vehicle the hose was already replaced so it has these screw style clamps. You may find that you have clamps that you use pliers such as this style. Slide your clamp out of the way. Remove the hose from the engine. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts that hold the thermostat housing to the water pump. Remove your thermostat housing from the water pump. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry the thermostat out of the water pump. Before installing your new thermostat, ensure that your part has a new gasket on it. This is the only seal on the thermostat. There's no gasket around the bottom of the housing. Reinstall your thermostat housing and your two 13 millimeter bolts. Reinstall your radiator hose onto the thermostat housing. Tighten down your clamp with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the radiator cap by pressing down, turning counterclockwise, two clicks. Fill your radiator with Mopar approved 50-50 coolant. Anytime you drain the coolant from your vehicle, you're going to want to properly bleed the system. To do this, fill your radiator and your expansion tank. Turn the heat on in your vehicle and let it run. With the cap off, wait until you see all the air bubbles come out, constantly checking the fluid level until the fluid level remains stable without any bubbling or draining. Then you're safe to reinstall the cap, ensure that your heat's blowing hot air, you're ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.